Well, now we come to card number 10, which is called selection. And one of those days, Jesus went out to the mountainside to pray. And he spent the night praying to God. When morning came, he called his disciples to him and chose 12, 12 of them, whom he also designated apostles. Remember, we only have around about 50 days recorded of the ministry of Jesus. And there were a few events that went before the calling of the disciples that are recorded here. Uh, you have the record in John's Gospel, chapter 1, which ends with five men committed to become disciples of Jesus. Uh, they were John and Andrew, uh, Peter, Philip and Nathaniel. This seems to be very much a part-time basis. You, you will find that the fishing business still occupied much of these uh, disciples' time. Then Jesus comes and teaches the crowd by the lake and to prevent being crushed uh, by the people, he wanted to, um, to get into Peter's boat and, and to move out a little way from the, the land so he could speak to him. You find the record in, in uh, Luke chapter four, of chapter five, I should say. And getting into one of the boats, which was Simon's, that's Peter, he asked him to put out a little from the land and he sat down and he taught the people from the boat. And when he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. And Simon answered, Master, we've toiled all night and took nothing. All right, but at your word, I will let down the nets. Bit of reluctance there, you can see. And when they had done this, they enclosed a large number of fish so much so that their nets were breaking. So they singled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both the boats so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish that they had taken. And also... There was James and John, the sons of Zebedee, and who were also partners with Simon. And it was then that Jesus said to Simon, don't be afraid, from now on you will be catching men. And when they brought their boats to land, they left everything and they followed him. So this starts like the full-time discipleship program with Jesus. When a person recognizes who Jesus is, they will acknowledge that they are sinful people, just like Peter has in this example. And fishing during the daytime with nets was a, a total waste of time because the fish would see the nets in the water and they'd swim around them. Now that's logic. But at your bidding, remember Peter said, but at your bidding, I will let down the nets. And that's faith. It, it's trusting what Jesus is saying. Well, the catch was so great that Peter needed the help of his partners to pull the fish on board. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees saying, Depart from me, for I'm a sinful man, O Lord. And when they brought their boats to the land, they left everything and they followed him. And then you go into chapter 5, verse 27 to 32, and it gives us the calling of Levi, who is better known as Matthew. And if you go to Luke chapter 6, verse 12, in these days... He went out to the mountain to pray and he prayed all night to God. And when day came, Jesus calls his disciples and there was obviously quite a group of them by now. And he chose from them 12 whom he named as apostles and they're listed. There was Simon, whom he called Peter. There was Andrew, his brother, and James and John and Philip and Bartholomew and Matthew and Thomas and James, the son of Alphaeus and Simon who was called the Zealot, and Judas, the son of James. And then last of all, there was Judas Iscariot, who became the traitor. Now, Jesus called them apostles. Now, the number 12 probably shows that Jesus was establishing a new community because we have the 12 tribes of Israel. Now we have the 12 apostles. And in the New Testament era, the apostles were the foundational teachers, that is the teachers of the doctrine upon which the church was built. 
Uh, you read this in Ephesians, built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone to whom the whole body is structured, or in whom I should say the whole body is structured, being joined together, and it grows into a holy temple in the Lord. In him, that is in Christ, you also are being built together into a dwelling place for God by the Spirit. That's Ephesians 2, 10, uh, 20 to 21. Now, the first conflict within the church was resolved when these apostles met in Jerusalem. And you read it in Acts 15. And after Paul and Barnabas uh, had no small discussion or dissension uh, and a debate with them, Paul and Barnabas and some of the others were appointed to go to Jerusalem to the apostles and the elders about this question. So here we have Jesus calling these 12 disciples. And as you follow their story through, you find that they were given responsibility to formulate the truth. And when there were problems in the church, they were the ones that came together and resolved these issues. So these 12 disciples became the leaders of this new community. In the old, there were 12 tribes of Israel. Now you have these 12 disciples who are called apostles. So selection, selection of the 12. Now we come to our next card, the Sermon on the Mount. 